My name is Johan Eklöv. I'm a bat scientist from Sweden and I'm also a writer. Uh, I wrote the Darkness Manifesto about how the darkness is disappearing from our world. We're standing in front of Svartrå Church in Halland in Sweden and in the attic here there are a colony of long-eared bats. And 40 years ago there were bats in almost every church in western Sweden. Now there are only bats in half of them. The Darkness Manifesto is about the disappearing night. Ever since we invented the light bulb, man has used more and more light every day and the day is getting longer, the night is getting shorter. And uh, the reason why we're here at this church is because I used to study bats here. And in the last 40 years, they're all been gone due to light pollution. I wrote the Darkness Manifesto. It immediately got a big success and it was way more than I could expect. To show people how much light we're using, we're actually killing the night. The night itself is endangered. The bats do live in churches because they like the big attics. They can fly around in big spaces and they can hunt indoors as well. And it gets really warm under the ceiling in the summer when they are having their pups. We're now in the church tower. Often the bats hang in the attic. In this place, they hang very high up in the ceiling above the church bell here. Uh, and this church is a very good example of uh, a place where they still thrive because this church is dark. There are no spotlights whatsoever on this church. So the colony here is still growing. And the bats are scared of light, we could perhaps guess because they're all night creatures. But also some bats are hunting under streetlights, catching moths that usually hear bats, but under the streetlights they don't. So some bats use the light while other bats, they flee the light. A few years ago, scientists found that 70% or even more of the insect biomass has decreased in just 30 or 40 years. And insects have problems with a lot of stuff that we do. We have all pesticides and deforestation and agriculture. But recently, light pollution has been added to this list. Light is an a really an increasing problem for insects. And light pollution is also very easy to solve. We can just switch the lights off. When I started to write, I know most things that have ever been written about light pollution. But when I tried to finish the book, there were so many new studies. I, it was really hard to, to draw the line. Where should I stop? I mean, and after that, the research has just exploded. People are day creatures, and of course we like the light. We like to see what we're doing, but we're also affected by a short night, especially our sleep hormone, the melatonin, is affected. There are studies showing that some sort of cancers and diabetes and obesity is linked to light pollution. Actually, light pollution is increasing by 10% every year, and we're shying away our culture. We're not seeing the stars anymore. I think the darkness is speaking to us. I mean, we missed the darkness. We really didn't know that we missed the darkness, but uh, we haven't seen the Milky Way here since the 90s, more or less. And you need to go to really dark places to see stars. So I think that's speaking to people somehow.